Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca, and this is part two of the jersey videos. This one is on jersey customization, and specifically how you don't really know what you're going to get when you order through NHL or you get a jersey unless you really, really look at it. Now, this will take a look at a bunch of different jerseys I own and a bunch that are from different, not eras, but different times in the current NHL jersey uh, history, I guess, or like this this specific era. And that's after the Edge one. So we got a couple of Winter Classics here. And actually, let's just go through them really quick. So we got our Brzezgalov Winter Classic. This is an old replica jersey. As you can see on the back, Brzezgalov. Move that side. Next, we got Zetterberg Detroit Winter Classic jersey. Zetterberg on the back. Now, both all of these jerseys, except for the authentic one, are directly customized through NHL, or they came pre-customized. So we got this Grubauer World Cup of Hockey one. A uh, huge shout out to the person on Twitter can't remember your name at the moment, who got me, or who basically pointed out that Grubauer jersey was on sale at Winners. Thanks to the Steve Dangle podcast, I added more to my collection. We got a TJ Oshi Team USA. Let's see there. We got Ryan Kessler. Canucks. And finally, we got my Corey Perry Mighty Ducks. Now, this is an authentic jersey. This one was customized not by NHL or anything, but it was done the proper way. And I'll just show that to show the difference of a real full proper customization, some of which these have, but it'll just give another little look. All right, so that's basically the overview. Now we'll go into specific ones and talk about them. All right, so firstly, shout out to Alex Rotundu. I think that's how you say your name. I'll put your Twitter handle up here. Uh, because of you, I was be, I was able to get a couple jerseys for this video and for a couple other videos, as well as I was looking for one of these for a long time, not even customized, just one of the jerseys, and that is the only time I could find one that I would a price I'd pay. So thank you very much because I added that to my collection. Um, and now on to the actual customization themselves. So when I bought Steve Dangle podcasts. The least winter classic authentic jerseys, and I bought one myself. I was they had a Kessel replica jersey there, and I almost bought it because I wanted to show off how the numbers were, but the numbers weren't actually stitched correctly. So it was fuzzy like this one in the Zetterberg, but it didn't have the swirl stitch that goes inside, which is unique for the least for that time, and that's what I wanted. Um, but because I didn't have it, I didn't pick them up. But I wanted it to show to see if these were or those numbers were. Print, screen printed on, not screen printed, sorry, glued and heat pressed in or actually sewn in. But luckily this one's different than the Leafs one. Now this one is a jersey from 2012 and I think the Leafs winter class was 2014. But anyways, the Leafs one and the Detroit one uh, came afterwards. So we'll go into this one first. All right, so right here, we are looking at the fuzzy numbers that are actually pretty good. Now, let me zoom in. So I just gotta get lighting good there. Okay, so hopefully you can see this. Now these are felt numbers, and this is dual layer. This is a cream, and this is just obviously the black. Now, this is pretty good quality. As you can see, that's pretty close to what the actual teams would wear, if not the actual thing. They are pretty stiff, so it's kind of annoying, but that's them anyways. Now, here is the actual nameplate, which is very close, if not perfect, to the actual nameplate they wore. So, okay, just trying to get the... Okay, so there you go. There you can see that. But now, the these letters are stitched onto the nameplate, and you can see that on the inside. I don't know if you can see that there. Come on. I'm trying to get this to focus, and my thumb's on the way. So yeah, so there you go. You can see the stitching right there. And then as well as on the numbers themselves. They are, the numbers themselves are stitched onto the multiple layers. As you can see, hopefully, come on. Sorry, this is really hard to focus this. And it's just being a huge pain. All right, so, 
there we go. So those are the numbers, the layers are stitched together. Now, when we go on the inside, they aren't stitched onto the jersey, but you can see where they're actually stitched on the other layer. Now, also interesting is that, as you can see, the nameplate is not stitched onto the jersey, but the letters are stitched onto the nameplate. So there's fake stitching right there. Hopefully that comes up. And there's fake stitching on the outside right there. But that doesn't, this stitching right here doesn't actually go into the jersey, which is odd. So it's just glued in. And if you don't believe me, we're going to get really close to this again. As you can see, there's nothing there. All right, so that's the Briggs Goloff jersey. And the arms, the shoulder, sorry, the arm numbers are the same. So now we look at Zetterberg. So Zetterberg has, again, the nice felt numbers. And as you can see, also has the stitching. Sorry, this is again really hard to get. I don't have a great camera. And so we look at the nameplate. And the nameplate has, is stitched on, as you can see with the stitching at the top. If this ever focuses. Okay, that, hopefully that works. You can see stitching on the top. And you can see the actual stitching of the number themselves. Letters themselves, sorry. So we're gonna go on the inside of this one. And we have stitches. And we're gonna go on the, the top part. And we have nameplate stitching, as you can see right there. So that's the nameplate. So both of these jerseys came from, uh, directly from an NHL retailer. And as you can see, both the actual uh, customization job was different. These are both Winter Classic jerseys. Uh, this one was made in Indonesia. So the Detroit one is, is Indonesian made and the uh, Flyers is made in Canada. The quality of them is pretty close to being the same. It's a different cut than the edge. I'll go into that in another video. But uh, so that's like odd there, right? And that's one of my issues with how the NHL handles jersey customizations. You never know what you're going to get. Now, I wish I had, sorry, I wish I had two replica premier jerseys to show this off with, but we're going to make do with an Adidas jersey. So here's a Kessel jersey, also a jersey I bought from, uh, just from a retailer, and actually the same place I got the Leafs Authentic jersey. And here are the numbers. So that's just a normal tack or twill number with stitching or, and being sewn on, as you can see, sewn on. The nameplate is normal nameplate. I'm not sure if that's the right material or not. It doesn't look the same, it looks a little bit different, but nevertheless, that's the nameplate with the number, sorry, the letters and the stitching. And if we go on the inside, we can see the nameplate is stitched on and you can kind of see the stitching through, through there. That is real stitching as well, if I can get that to go. Yeah, so then those numbers, so these letters are actually stitched onto the jersey as well, as you can see. So that's a well-stitched replica Premier jersey. So now we'll look at the World Cups and my issue with the NHL and the customization. Now here is this beautiful Philip Grubauer Team Europe jersey. Now, I think these are one of the nicest jerseys because the two-tone, I actually think the white was nicer because the sleeves had half, one was half navy, one was half like royal, and then mostly white. But anyways, so here are the numbers on the sleeves. I'm just showing these because I think they're pretty interesting. Now it's that teal color. It is not sewn in. Hopefully that will come up there. So that's just heat pressed on. And it looks like the material is just sublimated into the design. Um, we'll go to the back because I'll explain this better here. So here's the back numbers, which are a single layer with, I'm assuming it's sublimated with the white sublimate on teal or teal, something like that. With the blue also sublimated in for the details. It is also not sewn on. I can show this. So there's no stitching there. And we're going on the inside, no stitching. So these, jer these jerseys were pretty interesting for the World Cup of Hockey because the, one who, the people who did the game worn customization is a company out of California and you can't actually send them jerseys to customize. I think it was an agreement they did with the NHL. 
I'm not positive, but I couldn't actually get this made if I wanted to, which is why I wanted, I'm really happy I found a replica of it all done up. Kind of disappointed it's not sewn, but we're gonna go to the name now, because this is kind of interesting. So the letters themselves are glued on and heat pressed, which is fine. Now, the name plate itself, I'm not sure if this is the right material because I don't know what the game warns look like and I haven't looked into it because I'll never own one. Um, and I won't be able to show it in a video. Now, this is interesting. It looks like this is sewn in. See the stitching? If this will focus. So as you can see the stitching there, it looks like it's sewn in. And when we go to the inside of, sorry about the focus again, I'm using my cell phone, not that great. When we go to the inside of the jersey, it's not stitched, which is pretty interesting. There's no stitches. So what is up with this? So I'm kind of confused at how this is the case. And because as you can see that That certainly looks stitched, but it isn't. Now, the only way I would say is if this was uh, two-toned or thick, but you can see my hands through it. So I don't think that's the case. As it doesn't get thicker up the top. So I was thinking maybe this was double layered, but it's not really thicker up here. It's all one material from what I can tell. Because you can still see my hand all the way through. Yes, yeah, so as you can, there you go. You can see it all the way through until it gets to the nameplate. So this isn't multiple material; it's just fake stitching, but it's ridiculously well done. And I don't. It's stitched on itself, is what it is, which is kind of interesting. So this is what is really weird about NHL jerseys. Again, this came straight from a retailer. This was a clearance, like a this was winners, so commercials, stuff like that, and. This would have this uh, this jersey customization would have been done by the NHL. It wouldn't have been done by anyone else. Now maybe this was done because Philip Grubauer was a third goalie and they didn't have time to do proper customization. But I kind of don't believe that's the case either because a lot of premier jerseys are done like this too, where the numbers are just like it showed on my Brzezgalov jersey. So I'm kind of iffy about that. But now we're gonna look at the TJ Oshie USA jersey. So first we're going to look at the side numbers, which again, you can see that detailing. Uh, I think these are actually printed on the, the little dots. And this one again, looks sewn. So let's take a look on the inside, see if it is. So there's the stitching. Again, I'm really sorry about this. This is, I need a better camera, but I'm on a budget. So, I get that any better. Okay, that's the best we're getting. So let's look on the arm really quick. And see what we got, and that'll be easier to go to the top. Stitched. So these numbers are stitched, which is different than the other one. Now the reason I bought this jersey is because I there was a difference. So here's the back of the jersey. Again, the detailing and the stitching comes up. Oh yeah, I'll try to get better details of this, but this is about the best I can do to show the detail. Yeah, there'll be pictures in the right up below. But anyway, so there's a stitching for that. And the nameplate, a little big uh, for Oshi. As you can see, it goes from there to, goes from there to there. It doesn't need to be that big. And we'll look at the actual name. As you can see there, look stitched. Come on. Again, look stitched, and I believe it is. Yeah, this is so. This the names are actually stitched. The letters there. Now again, look stitched, but this one actually is too, as for the nameplate. As you can see, the nameplate actually has stitching through it, and it's evident at the bottom too. So there we have it. We have two jerseys of the same tournament of different teams with two vastly different customization on the numbers. Now, my problem with this is when you order a jersey from NHL.com, you don't know what you're getting. And I think the Fanatics deal is gonna make it worse. Well, at least quality worse. But 
personally, I would like these numbers to be stitched on. And if for full price, I wouldn't buy it if they're just glued on. I paid 30 bucks for this jersey, so I have no issues. But these are much nicer in terms of how they're done. And that's pretty frustrating to me. These weren't done at a store that I paid for customization. This is how they came from NHL, which again is very frustrating. Now, really quickly, we are going to look at an authentic jersey. And this is how the game ones are done. The style might not be perfect, but it's basically how it is. I just picked this one because it has triple layer and it's interesting. So as you can see, you have triple layers of twill. Now some teams do it differently where they'll just do an outline around this one or and then have, or this one will also be an outline. So these two will be outlines and this will be the actual only layer of twill, but it will be bigger and these will be sewn on top. It's complicated, um, but anyways. So here's the back as you can see and the nameplate with the sewn letters and the sewn nameplate too, which you can also see there as well. And we're gonna go on the inside just to prove all that beautiful teal stitching and that eggplant stitching on the top, as you can see right there. So that's the difference of an authentic compared to a replica. And my basically why I have an issue with how NHL handles their jersey customization and specifically through replicas, because usually the authentics, if they're done, they're done by a company that is doing authentic customization jobs because they're looking for that quality of a jersey. So anyways, hopefully that will be helpful. Uh, my next video is going to be Adidas replica versus authentic. And then we're gonna do a little look at Adidas replicas versus NHL replicas. And that one, I have to actually go buy a new Leafs jersey because they're different. Again, thank you NHL for making everything more complicated. But anyways, hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, check out my other videos. I'll have more of these Jersey videos coming up. Subscribe to me on YouTube, links in the description. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. I will just be able to get more stuff so I can do more crazy things like this. Uh, but anyways, comments, feedback, leave them in the comments or send it on Twitter. Uh, link of that is again in the description. Thank you for watching and take care.